Okay, my name is Martin Than, and I'm Director of Emergency Medicine Research in Christchurch in New Zealand, and I'm speaking today at the College of Emergency Medicine United Kingdom uh, annual scientific meeting here in Exeter. Um, so I'll be talking about uh, the assessment of uh, cardiac chest pain for suspected acute myocardial infarction, and um, how I believe that emergency medicine needs to take control and responsibility for this area. Twenty years ago as a speciality, it would, uh, I remember that head injury was something that was looked after by other specialities, and it would be absurd for us to think about us do it, that happening now. We are the experts in that area, and there are many other examples of such a thing. So in chest pain, of course, we look after an awful lot of chest pain and assess people with chest pain in the emergency department. Actually, the perceived experts are quite often still cardiologists in the laboratory. And Emergency medicine needs to take control of that area and create a knowledge base so we become experts in looking after the patients, which are very common to us. In the United States, each year, there are 8 um, million people assessed with suspected cardiac chest pain at the cost of $20 billion. That is a phenomenal amount of money. So this is an important healthcare area. It has a very high burden to acute healthcare. It's a large number of our patients, and yet quite often we defer as a speciality to other uh, areas. And I'm not saying there should be rebellion or a fight here or something, but I think the emergency medicine needs to start understanding the nuances of this. So in my talk today, I will be discussing issues about high sensitive troponin. It's a very dynamic area and something that's relatively poor understood. And I think that if emergency medicine physicians are going to talk to other clinicians and create ownership of this area, they have to understand the terminology and the details in relation to these cardiac assays. In the second half of the talk, I'll be talking about how emergency medicine departments can integrate the best available evidence to set up care pathways for chest pain, uh, and this is something that we've been doing relatively successfully in our environment in New Zealand, to the extent that over the next one year, every single hospital in New Zealand will be implementing an, a, a rapid assessment pro pathway and framework for assessment of chest pain and acute myocardial infarction. So I'm going to, one, my messages will be, one, take ownership, learn what it's about, and two, here's a model about how you can do it, although you don't have to do it this way. If other people are interested in this, I'd love to hear from you. An easy email to contact me on is martinthan at gmail.com, so M-A-R-T-I-N-T-H-A-N at gmail.com. I'll be very happy to reply and share materials that we have, uh, which is not a commercial exercise. We're just happy to share knowledge.